Hey, when I say blockchain, okay, you hear this very often, blockchain this, blockchain that, but when I say blockchain, what is the absolute first thing that comes to your mind? Bitcoin. But is there also another way to use the blockchain, maybe in the, in the field of uh, supply chain management? Of course. Let's have a look. So how can this technology, this uh, blockchain uh, technology, help in supply chain management? Well, basically, this is a young technology and the applications will grow on a daily basis. So please do not see what I'm about to say as the only possible applications of blockchain in supply chain management. Okay, so just basically just a few highlights, uh, a few uh, important examples. Uh, but before that, let's have a look in, in very generic terms um, what a blockchain actually is. Okay, let's first briefly explain what a blockchain is. Now, obviously this is not an IT course, so we will keep the explanation basic on a need-to-know basis. Now, a blockchain is a decentralized database that is very different from a traditional database. You see, a traditional database will typically have one owner. Okay, not always, but typically. For instance, the ABC Corporation might have a database in which it records information about its products, about its transactions. Now, the database is the property of ABC Corporation. The ABC Corporation can, for instance, manipulate the information content inside the database. They decide what information to enter. They decide what information to delete. They can even switch the database off at will. But the blockchain is different in the sense that this database will not have one owner who can decide what information to enter and delete without any need to explain itself to others. The best way to imagine the blockchain is if you would take a traditional database and then spread it over multiple parties who now control it jointly. They jointly govern it. They can all access its content. Information recorded in it can be changed, but this requires the consent of the other parties. The information recorded in it may be about a cryptocurrency, but it certainly does not have to be about that. It can be about anything. Okay, so now that we saw what the blockchain actually is, can you give a few examples of its applications? Sure. Um, first of all, blockchains have the option to record each transaction and production step from the very beginning, from the absolute source to the end customer. So in that sense, they can increase traceability. Okay, but can you give me uh, an example of a situation where traceability would actually be desired? Sure. Uh, meet Honest Jack. Okay. Jack claims that his apple sauce is fully organic. But is that claim valid? How sure we are as consumers or even retail retailers that indeed, nowhere in that process, non-organic uh, materials, elements were used. The blockchain will offer that traceability since all transactions and production steps can be recorded there. I see. And the, the fact that this information is recorded there um, also means that this information can be checked there. Can you give another example of uh, an application of the blockchain in supply chain management? Sure, well, um, counterfeiting or foul play is in supply chains is something that is very common. Uh, many managers have encountered with such situations or will encounter with that. Can you give an example of, uh, of that? Sure. I want you to meet the dishonest cousin of Honest Jack, namely Dishonest Jack. <laughs> very, very creative. <laughs> so this Honest Jack has bought some raw materials from a supplier he's not supposed to buy from. So maybe that could be some kind of supplier on a blacklist indeed, um, a supplier you, you're not supposed to buy from. Yeah, exactly. So if the son is Jack, uses a traditional database or just pen and paper, he can easily counterfeit documents, make it appear as if these were bought from a reputable source. But with the blockchain, this is much harder to do. I see, because obviously in the blockchain, 
you do not have one owner of the database because the database is decentralized and it's not easily possible for one person to enter the database and then change, change you know, all the information without consent from the blockchain as a whole. Exactly. 